That's exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't do it because I don't. I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, I don't we, know the right we just way. have to put just enough, just to move him. We're gonna find a way where he gets. He can get up. And that doesn't hurt him. No. I'm Cesar Milan. I'm going across the country. Please welcome Cesar Milan! With my son, Andre. Oh! To help people with their dogs. Calm down. And to meet some amazing dog heroes. Voila! And answer the call from the most desperate cases. You're our last hope. Being back in Los Angeles, lets me work with problem dogs at my dog psychology center. Today, I'm going to meet with Kim and her three-legged shepherd mix, Luke, whose sad history has created some serious behavior problems. Kim, Hi. nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Pleasure. Come here, baby. He's probably going to be kind of shy. Welcome to the Dog Psychology Center. Thank you. I'm Kim Thompson Siri. My dog, Luke, he's a one-year-old Australian shepherd mix. I adopted Luke from an organization called Animal Hope and Wellness Foundation. It's a rescue organization here in Southern California. They rescue dogs from the Asian dog meat market. So Luke is actually from Cambodia. Luke was tortured. He had been hung and he had been beaten. And they used a machete to cut off his paw. The veterinary clinic that he was brought to here thought that it was best to just do a full amputation. So he's learning to get around on three legs, but he has a ways to go. Luke's main issue right now is he doesn't always trust humans, as you can expect. He's fearful of people, and when people approach him, he gets aggressive and barks and growls at them and tries to bite them. Hey, buddy. And so I want him to know that he can trust humans now. I want him to feel safe. My highest hope for Luke, I just want him to be like all the other dogs that you see around here, that like he doesn't remember what he has gone through in the past, that he can just roll around, be loved and petted and played with and go to the dog park, you know, say hi to people. And I just, you know, I want to give him a regular life. Please, come in. I devoted my life to dogs, so I know that Kim's heart is in the right place. But before we can teach Luke to control his aggression, he has to learn to take direction. For that to happen, Kim needs to take command, starting with the leash. Can, can you guide him with the leash, or you just go with whatever he goes? Um, I'll try to tug him, but he doesn't get up, so I feel like I end up I'm like dragging, dragging him on the yeah. ground by his neck, which yeah. feels awful to me, so right, I just right, don't right, do it. Right, right. So typically, I end up just picking him up. In a way, I guess I make a lot of excuses for Luke. Luke is so different in the past that he's gone through. I'm not exactly sure what to do. And so I'm timid and I'm anxious and I'm nervous because I don't want to do the wrong thing and like hurt him. I don't know if I should treat him like a regular dog. I'm just afraid that like I'll push him too far. Well, the regular dog is definitely the right approach. Yeah. The amount of, of tension on the leash, that's uh -huh. what you have to regulate. Yeah. That's all. So I'm going to show you how to unlock him when he shuts down. OK. OK. He already knows how to lead you. Now we're going we're gonna to learn to guide him towards us. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he usually mm -hmm. does. Go. Go this way. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't do it because I don't. I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, I don't we, know the right way. We just way. have to put just enough, just to move him. We're gonna find a way where he gets. He can get up. And that doesn't hurt him. No. Luke was rescued from a dog meat farm in Cambodia, where he suffered abuse, including losing his front leg. But he can still walk, and I'm determined to show his owner, Kim, how to guide him on a leash even when he refuses to move. And that doesn't hurt him? No. Come on, let's go. Let's go. 
There you go. Yeah, that's it. And so we just unlock him. Okay. Okay? I didn't think that Luki would learn so quickly. So when Caesar got him out, um, I didn't think that that was going to happen. So I was very excited. Then as soon as he goes, then we let him go. Okay, so the reward was, as soon as you move, we drop the leash. Yeah, okay. So then he <laughs> relates moving towards the leash with freedom, okay. or moving towards the leash with play. Yeah. Later, it's Kim's turn to take control of the leash. But you worry a little too much. <laughs> You're making your mama crazy. <laughs> At the DPC, I'm working with Luke, a dog who was rescued from the Asian meat market trade where he was abused and lost a leg. He's been reluctant to walk on a leash. I show his owner, Kim, that with gentle coaxing, he can do it. And now, she needs to move past her pity to be the leader he needs. You ready? I worry because with him missing a leg that I won't know like when he isn't really physically able to do more. We're not doing it for 20 minutes. It's literally negotiation, negotiation. As soon as he moves, we drop. But you keep worrying, so. Yeah. But it's very kind of you worrying, but you worry a little too much. I know, I worry a lot. <laughs> You're making your mama crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was vice versa. <laughs> you making him crazy. He already, he already went through a lot over there. I know. Forget about the past. Mm -hmm. You don't bring him here to feel a victim. Yeah. He was a victim. Like many rescue dog owners, Kim is afraid and overprotective. But in order for Luke to progress, she needs to stop focusing on his limitations and instead encourage him towards what he can do. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh. Now go, go on the front. You're learning that if you go in the back, it doesn't work for him. This is him right here, right? So if you go in the back, it's like, oh, yeah. I can't. So you, you move, and that's oh, when you right. give him the momentum where he can do this. Yeah. Now, the position now, you got to go around. There you go, see? Now, now you get, wait, wait. And then as soon as he moves, okay, come there on, you come go. On, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then drop the leash. Oh, there you go. Good hey, oh, there you go. good puppy. Oh. All right, good there puppy, you. good puppy. Oh, you saw it? How much pressure do you put? Not much. That's right. Getting Luke to stand up is an important first step. But if Kim wants him to have a normal life, she'll have to learn how to lead him on a walk. Now I just want you to stay in straight line. Right. And for him to be next to you, doing this thing as you walk. Yeah, because he's so like he's so unsteady, so I get like nervous that like where is he going? Is he gonna topple over? And he doesn't yeah. walk straight. So your energy is also unsteady. Yeah. Because you're nervous. Yeah. You see what I mean? So you're like doing this, and it's like, oh, the both of us, we have no legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of potential for improvement with Luke. Now I just need a breakthrough with Kim. What do you do for a living? I'm an architect. Okay. So right now, um, we're building a new international terminal at LAX. Kim knows how to be a strong leader. She does it every day in her high power career. So I need to see her apply that mindset with Luke. Just a straight line, just give me one straight line. Okay. Okay, let's go. Nice, nice. You can switch it. There you go. All right, good puppy. Give him a little good more. Puppy. Ah, beautiful. All right. Let's go. Good uh -huh. job. Uh huh. Uh huh. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Good hey, job. Hey, that's Yay. it. <laughs> Very good, job. good. The breakthrough moment for us was when we were able to just walk in a straight line without me having to really drag him along. Good job. Open uh -huh. that door. Take the leash off. You're gonna give him the other side of the dog park. That's his, that's his reward. Ha ha. There you go, let's go. Let's all go. Go, go, let's go. Come on, Lukey. I think the biggest thing I learned today is that so much of Luke's abilities and inabilities are due to me. He can go a lot longer than you think he can. <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited to see what tomorrow brings with Luke because I feel like in one day, we've made so much progress with Caesar. So I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah. Good. This is a good start. Yeah. yeah. To help Luke, we need to understand Kim. Sometimes when people adopt dogs and the empathy level is so high, it turns into feeling guilty or feeling bad or feeling sorry for the dog. So today I needed Kim to lower her fear and raise her confident energy. Tomorrow I'm going to help Kim address the fear Luke has towards strangers. But today was a great start. Luke, the three-legged shepherd mix, returns after making progress with the leash. To continue work on his aggression issues, 
Kim adopted Luke after he was rescued from a Cambodian dog meat farm, where he was tortured and lost his leg. But in order to help Luke, Kim must learn not to view him as a victim. There is gonna be people who you want him to relay very well, for him to learn to trust. We're gonna, we're gonna do the steps of how to help him feel more curious about it, so he can actually welcome the ritual of being mm. touched. Yeah, that would be novel. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The first thing Kim needs to do is keep her own emotion about Luke's past under control. Then she can move forward and get Luke into a relaxed mindset. Oh. Oh. Shh. Shh. What I need from you is just to put him on the side. That's it. With his head down or just With on his the head side? down. OK. OK. So what you're saying is, trust me, he's yeah. not going to hurt you. Okay. If you open your fingers, if you open your fingers like this in the rear, then you touch muscle. But if you press like this, you create resistance. Okay. Okay. Here. There you go. Uh-huh. Nice. Now you can pull the feet in the bottom. Hold it back. Hold it back. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Hold it back. Okay. I feel like I'm just tackling him. Yep. Yep, you're learning, so. Does he still continue to trust me even though I'm the one who's forcing him on the ground? Look, take the leash off <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> walk away, walk away, he's, he's, he's going. If he, did, if he wouldn't trust you, he wouldn't follow you, okay? Oh, okay, good yeah. puppy, good puppy. I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Kim, I, I just don't understand how you don't see it. Yeah, I guess it's because like I feel like when I'm making him do something he doesn't want to do, it's... Um... But do you dislike your parents? No. But they make you do things that you don't want to do sometimes. Right, just if people had hurt, when people had hurt him in the past, right, because they physically probably dragged him around. It's common for the owner of a rescue dog to make their dogs pass trauma, their own trauma, but that doesn't help a dog. I mean, I got as much work as he has, you know? Like, I've got to train myself, so. Oh, yes, Kim. Oh, yes. All right. May I do it? Yes. So here. Rear. I'm working with Kim, whose abused dog, Luke, has a strong distrust of strangers. Right now, I need Kim to get past her pity for Luke if we are ever going to solve his aggression issues. May I do it? Yes. OK, so here. That's all right. He's going to give in to it. Luke is resisting in the same way he resisted the leash. So again, we need to be persistent to unlock the behavior. Keep <laughs> There you go, right there. This is where we want him to go. It's important for Kim to follow through on this step. Getting Luke's body into a relaxed position will actually calm his mind too. Until she can get him into that state, he will continue to be triggered by strangers. Yeah, but not on top of him. Just, just, yeah. it's almost like just to get him in that yeah. position. Come on, G. All right, come on. Hey. Oh, good puppy. All the way, all the way, all the way. Okay, all the way. All the way, all the way, all the way. he's good. There you go. Just stay firm to it. Okay. Oh, yeah. good puppy. Good puppy. I was afraid that I was hurting Luke, um, whether it was physically or like mentally, by forcing him to the ground. But when Luke finally succumbed and he was relaxed and seemed completely fine, then it made me realize, okay, I'm not hurting him. He's still okay. So that was a breakthrough. He, he wrestled a little bit like an alligator, right? <laughs> we, we let him go through it. Mm -hmm. And then at one point, well, that doesn't work. So what works? This works, yeah. right? So, so then they realize, well, I don't have to fight. Mm -hmm. I can just relax. Mm -hmm. Kim has gotten Luke into a calm state. Now I'm going to show her how to keep him that way when strangers approach. OK, Marcel. This is really good. So here's another guy. He sees another guy coming in. He's going to do the same thing. Oh. Okay, you're okay. All right, baby, there you go. Oh, good puppy. Here, Mercy. 
Food is a good tool to build trust, so Kim can use it when Luke meets new people. See how we're doing it? Now we bring in the food factor. You want him to give food, you want him to take it from him mm -hmm. because it builds curiosity, excitement, and trust. Mm -hmm. So you have to teach people how to approach him. Yeah. And you are guiding, leading, making sure that he stays understanding that nothing bad is going to happen. Right. I think the biggest thing that I learned today is that I have a lot of say so in who approaches Luke, how they approach Luke, and also how to help them approach Luke so that Luke can accept it better. So for me, I feel like Caesar trained me more than he really trained Luke. All right, Mr. Luke, don't forget to remind her. <laughs> <laughs> I made a promise to Luke the day I brought him home that I will always be his mommy until the day he leaves this earth and that I will give him the best life I possibly can. Definitely through the help of Caesar, now we know what we need to do to give him that perfect life. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.